Welcome back. This is the second part. Uh, of course, I ran out of time uh, for the first part. Uh, and I'm going to uh, be getting to the Riddler. Now, the Riddler comes uh, with a little question mark cane. Uh, as you can see, it's very, very appropriate. Uh, the business suit and his little hat. Now you can remove both the hat and the cane. But why did he look so good without it? The little question mark on his tie. Again, these are pretty much statues, so uh you know, if you, you, they look really good in one pose, and that's about it. Uh, so if you're looking for po many poses, uh, these guys have been done by uh, DC Universe. Uh, get them because they're m much more poseable. Uh, so anyway, now let's go on. And do the Joker. Now the Joker. Um, this I, a lot of people like this, uh, and I do have to say, it it really captures what the way Lee drew in the Joker with that being in the not so subtle devil horns formed by the hair and the long nose and uh there and you know the little curly feet uh me I don't know there's uh my favorite joker so far has been the DC direct uh Silver Age Joker, which I will probably show in another video. Uh, as you can see, he comes with a little bang gun. Uh, it's molded into his hand. Again, not many pose, not much poseability. Although he is the most flexible, he can bend almost any way at the waist. Kind of odd, but uh, that's an, and another thing to notice about him is that his jaw is articulated, so he can laugh. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Moving on is excuse me, excuse the armpit. Uh, we have Nightwing. Nightwing is great. It's it's a very simplistic take on the figure. If you notice, um, he's got smooth boots and uh, smooth hand. No chunky. I don't know what you would call them. Gauntlets or uh, armor on by his wrists and shins uh, is just a smooth uh, they're nice nice sculpted face and hair his Eskrima sticks are molded into his hands he cannot take them out of you cannot take them out of his hands uh, so then uh, next we have Rachel Ghoul, and of course, uh, one of Batman's long standing, uh, and, um, who already knows that he is Bruce Wayne and is his first. 
suspect uh, in the series. Now he does come with a sword. Unfortunately, the sword I got was flimsy and uh, broke. So I tried gluing it with super glue and it did not take so he is now swordless. Uh, it was a great uh, scimitar uh, cutlass type weapon uh, but and again very good interpretation of the Lee running. Now what comes to uh, my probably the figures that I wanted most out of this line uh, are some good background colors that haven't had figures before and uh, probably only DC Direct would do figures of them uh, but who knows uh, with uh, Mattel doing such a good job on the DC Universe we might see them in some form uh, somewhere uh, like as a two-pack on Maddie.com or you know as an exclusive somewhere but anyway enough of that let's get to them the first the gun is not molded in unlike the other figures in this series uh, pretty odd bizarre but what's great about him is this nice uh, look at the detail on the, the belt oh, oh, this side of the belt uh, look at the detail on that buckle and everything he has a separate piece for the tie and there's even you can see his little undershirt uh, beneath his uh, button down shirt and I mean it's just a layered look you know it uh, I don't know it's just so detailed and uh, I mean it's, it's my favorite figure out so that's it uh, for the hush line.